right now. And you can already start to see these storms, which have been moving generally from south to north, are starting to now push their way a little bit to the east. So this is going to likely form into a large line of thunderstorms and then make its way across the entire KHAS viewing area as we go through the rest of tonight. The tornado threat is at its highest right now. When you get these individual supercells is when you tend to see the best chances for tornadoes. We can't rule out more tonight, but it's going to become more of a straight line wind hail event as we go to tonight. Well, if you were dreaming of a white Christmas, your dreams will come true. But boy, did we have to pay a price to get that snow here into Nebraska. Blizzard warning continues for the Tri-City area here until 3 a.m. Any moisture on the roadways will be switching over or changing over to ice tonight. And Mike, let me tell you, right now it is just downright frigid. In fact, I think about 90 to 95 percent of my body is totally numb right now. So I think I'm going to go warm up and for now I'm going to send it back to you in that nice warm and toasty studio. I don't know if I hold it up here to kind of contrast with the uh, radar. You can kind of see that that large hailstone. It's golf ball size, that's for sure. So again, very, very nasty stuff. Of course, we're used to severe weather here in Nebraska and Kansas, but we do not want to be complacent for the day on Saturday. This will be a dangerous situation across the area with widespread tornadoes possible. Long lived and strong tornadoes will be possible out of these supercells. This storm is drifting off towards the north. So Henderson, you are potentially in the path. You're likely seeing very heavy rain or some hail at this point in that location and the tornado is on the southern edge of the storm. So all of this is heading in your direction. So he's probably not really minding this heat too bad, is he? Oh, they enjoy the heat. They're perfectly adapted to deal with it. Of course, they animals have fans and lots of water and everything they need. It's that humidity that is the killer right now. Once these dew points start getting into the upper 60s, it feels really uncomfortable. In low 70s, that's what you typically see out by the ocean. This is more of a Florida environment out there right now. It's that type of air that just sticks to your skin and does not feel very comfortable at all. But relief is coming. Hi everybody, well it's been a beautiful Friday for the majority of us. Lots of sunshine, lots of blue sky out there. Definitely need the sunglasses and sunscreen if you're out and about. And that trend will continue for the majority of us as we go on into our Friday evening. There is that cluster of strong to severe thunderstorms making its way across northwest Nebraska just outside of our viewing area. There was actually a brief tornado reported up near the Shadron area. And we're also still seeing a strong cluster of storms starting to approach the Cherry County region. A few of those storms may clip north central Nebraska tonight. So up around the Ainsworth area into Key Apaha and Boyd counties. You could see a little bit of activity. The rest of the, the rest of us though are looking at a dry and quiet night. As you look across the Great Plains, you can see this area of low pressure beginning to approach. There is that severe thunderstorm watch in effect across northwest Nebraska that goes until 11 p.m. Central Time tonight. We're keeping an eye on this front though. It's along this front that things are going to get very active across the rest of our viewing area as we go into tomorrow and especially tomorrow night. You see that dip in the jet stream there across the western United States? Well, this is sort of your classic severe weather setup. You've got cooler air making its way into the Pacific Northwest and that air mass will start to collide with the warm and humid air that's setting up across the Great Plains. So this is one of the better setups we've seen in quite some time and it's why we are expecting some active weather as we go into this weekend. So let's look at your forecast. We'll start this here at 7 p.m. tonight. Again, for most of us, nothing to worry about on those storms up near the South Dakota border here as we go through the rest of this evening. Once we get past midnight, as more moisture continues to creep on in, we could start to see some patchy, dense fog develop. So some reduced visibilities will certainly be possible for Saturday morning. We can also see a couple more thunderstorms rolling their way across far northern Nebraska once again, but still dry for the majority of us. And most of us will stay dry through the first half of Saturday into Saturday afternoon. That fog burns off. We'll be left with partly to mostly cloudy skies. It's going to be a little toasty out there once again. Temperatures back in the 80s, but here comes that front. And once we get to the later afternoon hours, this is when we expect those things, uh, these storms to start to erupt. They're probably going to start across southwest Nebraska into west central portions of the state. So back towards North Platte, down towards Hay Center and McCook. You'll probably be up first with these strong thunderstorms. As we go through the rest of the evening, those storms will start to make their way into south central and central Nebraska. Supercellular storms certainly possible. A couple of tornadoes will be possible at this time as well to go along with large hail and damaging winds. And we're going to have to stay on alert through Saturday night. So when you go to bed, you may want to have those weather radios on if you have them or have a way to still monitor those weathers because uh, the weather because we could still see some strong thunderstorms even after midnight tomorrow night. Things will start to wind down a little bit as we roll on into the morning hours on Sunday. We'll see a little low in the action, but with this front 
slowly making its way across. More severe weather will be possible across central and eastern Nebraska Sunday afternoon. Moderate risk for southwest portions of the state. So if you're in places like Holdridge over towards Hayes Center, North Platte, down towards McCook, this is where the threat will be the highest. Some tornadoes possible. Very large hail, baseball size or larger. Certainly not out of the question. Pretty much the rest of the viewing area in a slight risk tomorrow. And then that risk starts to shift towards the east as we go into Sunday afternoon. So Lincoln, Omaha, and Beatrice, your turn will come on Sunday for elevated severe risk. The rest of tonight, it will be a warm evening. Temperatures still in the mid 70s at 10 o'clock, which is that isolated storm possible in northern Nebraska. Tomorrow morning, we start off the day in the mid 60s with those areas of patchy, dense fog. So give yourself a little extra time if you have to go anywhere tomorrow morning. Could be some reduced visibilities out there. For the afternoon, temperatures climbing into the mid 80s, a little humid out there as well. Breezy with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Right around 5 o'clock, we could start to see those first hints of strong thunderstorms billowing up. They'll be isolated at 5 o'clock, but then they'll start to become much more widespread as we go into Saturday night. More widespread thunderstorms for the day on Sunday. Again, a few severe storms still possible for Sunday afternoon. Keep a chance for storms going into Monday and Tuesday. Noticeably cooler with highs in the 70s and only in the 60s for Tuesday before we start to warm things back up for the middle and latter portion of next week. So hopefully everyone's got the warning. We've been talking about it all week. The fun is just about to begin here. So enjoy tonight. It's going to be much busier. All so, right. so we'll keep an eye Thank on you, it.